Yeah, hello there. In the last video, I showed you several open formats for storing multi samples, and I have to do some correction here first because I said the bitwig format is not open but easy to understand, which is not true because the spe full specification is available on GitHub too. And I showed the URL in the last video because I just found out after I finished the video. So the URL uh, of the GitHub page is in there as well. And I also found out that Presonos is supporting the format as well. So Bitwig multi samples can also be loaded in the big version of the Presonos sampler and also their sampling tool for make it easier to sample your plug-in sounds also can write multi-sample format so very good and very interesting thing to look into as well so and also in the last video i promised you a tool for doing conversion between these formats and here it is now and i will show you now how you can get it and how you can use it so from my home page you can go here to music software and there is now a sample conversion tool i had a previous one which was called multi sample generator which could turn a bunch of wave files into between multi sample this is now superseded by the new convert with Moss tool. Oh, I know the name is horrible, but it's the best I could come up with. Um, okay, so uh, this tool allows you uh, to do the same thing as before. So you can take a bunch of WAV files into Bitwig files, but now also into SFZ. And you can also turn Bitwig into SFZ and SFZ into Bitwig. And also the good old sound from two formats into Bitwig Studio or SFZ. So that's the whole idea. You get installers for windows mac and linux so we go here with the windows one the other ones work the same so also get nice installers for that let's have a look at the installer simply double click it you can ignore that nonsense and here is the installer and you can say okay install it okay and after that you can run it convert with moss here it is and uh, yeah the tool is pretty simple so you have here on the left side you have the source and on the right side you have your destination and then there are two buttons for conversion and for analysis first let's maybe start with something simple let's take some uh, sound phone two files uh, you select here a folder so I have here somewhere I have the sounds folder and there are some sound fonts in there so you select your source folder and all the sound fonts in there will be converted to what you choose here so you can choose Bitwig multi sample or as I've said, let's go with uh, whatever. Oh, hard decision, 50%. Let's go with Bitwig first. So uh, you need to select where you want to have it. Let's just say we want to have it here on a desktop. Here we go. And you could also add another one. Let's just call it destination. What you should do if it's especially if it's uh, more than one file, you should first go for analysis and see if there are any issues with it. So let's go with that and you will see a lot of gobbledygook. And yeah, what do you see? There are some warnings with some things. For example, you find it often in SF2 that the loops do not match on the left and right mono files. So this will be automatically adjusted by the tool as well. But nevertheless, you will also see mappings here for this fluid for example this fluid file contains i think gm standard was what was it 128 different sounds all these sounds will be converted into a single multi sample files so these multi formats will be turned into single individual ones so you can check here what's what's working what's not and normally it should work out fine but especially with sound found you have some issues which i have some workarounds implemented which we will look into in a second as well so you can just say close and and uh, you can then go for the real thing and say convert and then the conversion uh, process will run and you will get some logging for all different files which got checked. So as you see, this process might take a while depending on how much input files you have in there and how big they are and how many instruments they contain. So it's always a good idea to run this analysis process first. So and then the process is finally finished and then we can look here into our output folder. So destination got created. We have the SF2 in there 
there and you will see Bitwig multi-sample files for all the instruments and also all the instruments we had into this big file. So, okay, and here back in the tool, you can just close and you're back here at the start. So same thing works for SFZ as a source, Bitwig as a source, and the only pane which has all those parameters is if you want to do the conversion pane with the WAV files. I will not go into the meaning of all these fields. I showed it in the old video about the multi sample generator. The fields are identical. So you can yeah look up this older video and yeah the explanation is the same for them. Um, there are some options at the bottom. The two mean the following. So create folder structure. If you have, for example, a hierarchy, which for example has piano folder or a pad folder, synthesizer folder, whatever, then in your output folder, you can enable that, that this hierarchy is created there as well. And if you enable add new files, normally if the folder is not empty, you get a warning. For example, if I would now start convert, it would say the output folder is not empty. But if you enable that, it will ignore the existing files and only create mappings for the new ones. So if I would do that now, convert, it would run, but would not do anything really because they already all exist. So you also get this notification already exists and got skipped. So if you, for example, add new files, you can enable that option as well. So you might wonder what is working and what is not in this conversion processes. So I did here a table which explains that in detail. So have a look at that. So you can see it can read WAV files, it can read and write as I've said, it can read and write Bitwig multi-sample and it can currently only read as of two and I'm not really going to plan to make write uh, supported because this format is pretty pretty complicated and yeah so I'm already happy to got the reading going. Yeah so what does it support? First one is metadata like name, category, creator, description and keywords from WAV files have been taking it from the file name and um, yeah as I've said uh, only some basic support there. Bitwig has all these words uh, in the format so this works nicely and in SFZ you also have some fields which give you at least a name and some creator and the other two I also try to guess from the file name. Then groups uh, so grouping together different samples or layering there is also the possibility here to name them and the sample finally there is also some guessing game going because this root key is not always working and yeah in SFZ as well as Bitwig we have full support for all those different layering. So we have key ranges, we have velocity ranges, the playing style of the samples, pitching, key tracking uh, as well, direction, and also some individual gain for the different samples is working as well. And you have also some features, a little bit for zone logic, like round robin and such things. SF2 is a bit, a little bit more limited, but also the basic stuff for key and velocity ranges is there as well. There are different loop modes supported. So things like forwards and backwards is there. You have a start and end for the loop and you have also in SF set and Bitwig you have crossfades for the loop. Yeah, that's basically what is supported. So no envelopes or filters or amplitude stuff, which is possible in SF set and SF2. Maybe that's something for the future. So let's see what will be there as well. And I like to hear your comments if you have ideas and uh, yeah, convert a lot of stuff. And with that, make some funky music.